Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger and welcome to today's edition of Beach and Beyond. We are here at Secrets in Ocean City, Maryland with someone who needs really no introduction, the owner, Leighton Moore. Thanks for joining us today. No problem. And uh, we're in your new distillery and we are so excited to be here and you're going to uh, give tell you us a tour. what you've got going I'm on. Give, give you us a, tour. a little tour. That's okay. right. So when Where people come start? in, and we're going to pretend that you're uh, just a customer, so to speak, let me show you what we're going to be doing. All right, back it up. Here we go. They would come in, and they would already have a time card. Okay. It would be made up with their name, and it would be in the time card rack. These are the people. Well, nobody's on there. All right, we take this, put it inside. Okay. All right, and you're going to clock in. And then just straight do this? Straight down, straight down. Ooh, wow. And now, I'm on the clock. The significance <laughs> is, yes, you are on the clock. So and I get... the people that take the tour are actually employees for uh, the period of time, okay. about an hour and 15 minutes on the tour. This goes back in? No, you have to oh, take I that with that. you. Okay. Because if you look All at right. the other side, I'm the bartender upstairs oh. on all the tours, so I don't have to ask them. All right. All right, now we're a working distillery, and as such, uh, to get the bottles in and up, uh, empty and to bring them down full or the totes or the ingredients for our liquor uh, to go through those small doors in the back would be almost impossible. So the walls, the things that look like walls really aren't. In reality, they're doors. A massive door. It's 1,400 pounds and you can basically move it with one finger. That allows the uh, product to go in and the uh, ingredients to, to uh, come in as well. Thought of everything. That wall also swings, they're parallel so we can get okay. in and around the distillery. Love the elevator over here. Boy, that is I awesome. I think you'll like it. Now this is cracked corn from the Midwest. Okay. But in reality, after next year, we'll be harvesting our own from Snow Hill. Oh, right. I it's, like to hear uh, that. It's gluten-free. Okay. It's GMO-free. Okay. It's been certified one year to be organic. Now, in wow. three years, after being certified three years, it'll be organic, but it is already. Now, we take this, and when the trucks come with our grain, hypothetically, remember that word, uh, we would then, they would pump it to the top. We take it from the bottom. Oh, so we would open our wow. chute with a bag inside of this. The grain comes down, That's and we're awesome. going to follow the course of the grain yeah. through the whole process of making it alcohol. That is awesome. I love that you're using a local farm in Snow Hill. Yes, we are. So now we're in the distilling room, yes. and uh, tell us what happens in here. Well, the uh, grain comes across in the tube, drops down in the mash tun, 500 pounds of grain, 250 gallons of water. It's heated up, the enzy enzymes are added, and then it's pumped over into one of our fer fermentation tanks. Uh, from there, it'll stay about a week. When everything is correct in there, it is then shipped over to our still. And in the still, we're going to do four mashes to get one batch of alcohol. Right now, we are stripping, and I think that we're stripping, no, excuse me, this is a distillation head that's on there. So we're distilling the alcohol now reducing the amount of water, increasing the quality and the uh, proof of our alcohol. So this is a silly question, but it's all the same kind of alcohol. Do you then add things to make it rum or gin or vodka, or well, does it start out as rum or gin or vodka? It pretty much starts <laughs> out as what it's going to be. Rum is a sugar-based okay. uh, molasses uh, you know, type of base, uh, where our bourbons are grain. A bourbon has to be 51% okay. corn. And then you add your other ingredients. Now your vodkas and gin, which is a vodka that's been flavored, are basically all the same until you add your flavoring to flavoring. it to make it the gin or the orange, grapefruit, uh, or lemon, lemon vodka. So this is the maceration room, and you say this is the most one of the most important. It's the pieces. thing that'll keep us as slow as nature will allow. We don't use artificial coloring and flavorings as much as possible. We use real oranges. 24 cases of oranges are sliced, peeled, and all the seeds have to be taken out. All you have is the meat. So now we are uh, bottling. bottling. What are we bottling here? Some white rum. This is uh, white rum. So now we are in the speakeasy, so to speak, where you can sample any three yes. spirits. Yep. Layton's going to be your bartender, which uh, is super awesome. I'm the bartender. I do all the bottling. 
uh, except now since we're on the air. I do the bartending except when I'm on vacation. During the uh, off season, it's Saturdays and Sundays, and it's on the hour starting at 12. Uh, as it gets closer to summer, we'll be going uh, two tours per hour, on the hour and the half hour from 12 o'clock until six o'clock at night. And again, these awards were national awards. So you really want to come and, and sample this if you haven't already here at Secrets. And if people want more information, Leighton, the website they can go to is? Secretsdistilling.com. Easy enough. And to make a reservation. Okay. It's, it's, it's going to be busy. Uh -huh. Thank you so much sure, for no giving Thank us you. the tour and spending some time with us today. This is really great.